Hey there, welcome back to Northlight Photographic Workshops. Uh, I brought you over here to the shore of Lake Michigan. And as you can see, everything's really frozen and it's really cold tonight. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, you know, it's probably about seven degrees out here and I gotta go dig my gloves out of the car. Uh, but they're always hard to fly with gloves. And uh, I, what I've done is I've come over here because as you can see, there's sunlight on my face and it may not mean much to you, so but I, here in the frozen north, it's, uh, it's really nice to see the sun. So what I'm gonna do here is I've been really dying to come over and, and fly the drone. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, I thought I'd bring you along to do it with me. And uh, you know, I know I do this every once in a while and it's might be not all that exciting to you, but uh, you know, maybe so though. Maybe it brings you out of yourself and it maybe, uh, maybe it gets you out of your, uh, or wherever you are, you know? Maybe you're sitting someplace in beautiful weather right now, you know? and and uh, you really need to be brought down a little bit to earth and find out that there's people that are living in some really cold stuff right now. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the, uh, the drone, uh, there we are, I'm trying to get the uh, aperture and everything set here because I do like to fly with manual focus and I do like to fly in D cinema and I do like to fly in uh, you know, 24 frames per second uh, cinematic mode, but um, you know, that's for another video. Let's just get up there before we lose all of this. Actually, let me go get my gloves. And uh, I really do want to apologize for the sound of the car running in the background, but um, it's the way it is here. It's cold and I want to be warming myself up again as soon as possible, so I'm just going to leave the car running. Plus, you never know if it's ever going to start again. And when it's like zero degrees, you got to make sure you're going to be able to go somewhere, right? All right, so here we go. Let's get up in the air. You'll see it take off behind me. Take off. Code point has been updated. Please check it on the map. There it goes. Let's switch you over to drone. Here we go. Whew. Now gonna let it sit there for a minute and uh, adjust its gimbal. Everything's really cold as I said so. Did I say it was cold? <laughs> anyway, uh, I just want to let it settle out a little bit here and make sure that I can get it leveled out a bit here. All right, maybe sometime. Oh, there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's level. So let's go that way. All right. I've got line of sight like a crazy amount out here right now, so it's like I could go practically go forever line of sight. I see some chunks of ice sticking up out there, and I think I might go for them and see what's happening. So uh, let's go that way. Ooh, I can hear it cracking too. I don't know if you can hear that over the uh, car running in the background. Actually, I should go shut the car off. That would be the good thing to do, wouldn't it? All right, out here I saw something sparkling. It looks like a big chunk of ice sticking up. Let's go see if we can find out what it is. Let's get down low in and let's continue on forward. Wow. Yeah, it's some activity going on underneath the uh, ice out there. And the lake is really making some noise. Okay, I'm heading out towards whatever I'm seeing out there, and I don't really know. Doesn't seem to be much of anything. Let's rotate around a little bit. It's like being out in the desert, isn't it? It's a big lake, you know, you can't see across the thing, so for anybody that's thinking, well, it's just a lake. It's a big lake. Lake Michigan, I don't know, it's 90 miles across, 60 miles across, something like that. And what you're looking over out here is, uh, just to give you a little bit of a lesson, is this is all um, Sturgeon Bay. Now Sturgeon Bay, we're up at the very tip of the uh, mitten, we call it here in Michigan, because it kind of looks like a mitten. And uh, we're very far up at the tip of it, of the lower peninsula. And um, here, I'm going to get some elevation. 
we're very far up in the tip of the lower uh, you know, peninsula and uh, about 15 miles that way is uh, Mackinac Bridge and you take that bridge over to the uh, upper peninsula and then on be up there up there is Sault Ste. Marie or Munising, Marquette where Northern Michigan University is or around up into the Keweenaw Peninsula where uh, Houghton is as well as Michigan Tech University. Can you tell I've got a kid that's going to be going to college pretty soon? Um, anyway. So that's what this is, is this is Sturgeon Bay and Sturgeon Bay is pretty much frozen solid now as you can see but I could see coming down from the highland where I live uh, out over the lake that there is some open water out there but uh, it's too far for me to go to go searching for. So uh, let's swing back around this way be towards the sunset which is the reason I came out here. And let's uh, Go trip along the shoreline out here a little bit. Yeah, I've got such a clear line of sight on my uh, drone that I can almost fly without the uh, monitor here. But then I wouldn't be able to see what I'm bringing you. I really wish that I had a good signal over here as far as uh, cell goes because what I would do is take you for a, um, a, a live flight. That would be really fun to do. Oh yeah, look at that down along the shoreline where the mounds have built up. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, I don't want to get too far around the point because I'll lose sight of it and I can't do that legally. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing back around here. And I'm going to bring it down lower. See, I'm at 32 feet right now. There we are. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of bring it down this way real slow and we're just going to come back around the point. Whew. Uh, it's so nice to see sunlight. Some years we get waves that come in and they bash the ice up and they build up and we get these things that uh, are known kind of locally as ice caves and you can walk out there and go inside of them but it's obviously not that kind of a year this year but uh, there's still some really beautiful ice mounds out there. Let's follow along. Whew, it's really cold though, my fingers are getting cold. Look at that. Well, if you're still with me, I'm coming back north along the shore of Lake Michigan towards my uh, home port here, of the Port of Cross Village. And we are at the Lewis Keller Boat Launch. And Lewis Keller was a wonderful guy who uh, unfortunately left us uh, through an unfortunate accident last, well, at the beginning of the pandemic, which was a pretty terrible thing for us up here. He was the local fisherman that caught all the whitefish that supplied the restaurants and things around here. And his family lives here. They're wonderful people. Anyway. People got together and decided that this place should be named after him because this is where he used to launch his boat and come back every night. Woo, it's beautiful. Well, hey, listen, what I got to do is come back and warm up a little bit. So I'm going to bring it back around, bring it home. Ooh. Yeah, it's hard to bring it back, but boy, I'm frozen. So I'm going to bring it back to the home port here. You can see the open water there along the way, these little streams. And what that is, is there's a lot of springs up here in northern Michigan. Harbor Springs is a town just south of me. And Harbor Springs is uh, known for its springs. And so you can see right there, there's a lot of freshwater springs that come up.
There I am. You can see me. There's a lot of freshwater springs that come up around here and they don't freeze, so they got to be careful walking along the ice around here because sometimes it may be thinner than you think. Well, hey, here I am. And uh, it's actually a little cold, so I think I'm going to give this up for tonight. And uh, there I am. It's warning me it's a little too close. You can hear it going. So anyway, this has been a lot of fun. I'm uh, glad that I brought you out here. And I'm really glad that I got some flying in finally. Landing. Even though it is really ridiculously cold, but it's really great to be out here and it's great to have you along. And uh, anyway, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Maybe we'll do some more of this sometime. Uh, I got some more instructional stuff coming up pretty soon and a couple of other really surprise tri uh, trips that I took uh, that'll be coming out pretty soon. So stick with me and I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Take care of yourselves. Have a good night. Bye-bye.